Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. You got kids, Tyrone? If you leave your house and you take your kids, make sure that the dishes is washed, the trash is taken out, and and uh, the grass is cut, right? And they say, okay, daddy. And you leave, and you come back. And the dishes is washed, the trash is taken out, and the grass is cut. What they get? They get their, they get allowances, they get money, they get blessings, right? Right, right. Now, let's say you leave the house, and you come in the grass, is three feet high still, trash all over the house, and none of the dishes washed. What happened there? What needless to say is, that's a behind whooping, right? But that's exactly what God, and I like the way you said that, hell on earth. Right. Because we disobey God's laws, we're now living in hell on earth. That's right. right. That's right. That's, that's what we have now. That's right. I'm going to show you that. Bring that out. Leviticus 21. Leviticus 21, verse 5. They should not make baldness upon their head. So we're not supposed to make baldness. We already going bald, that's one thing. Like me and the brother, we said we're going from bald from the front to the from the back to the front. Some people go bald from the front to the back, like George Jefferson. Yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to make yourself bald though. If you already gone, you might as well just deal with it. Yep. Just deal with it. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Half some Michael? That's right. Just deal with it. Really. Don't don't go bald the rest of your head because a little bit of it's going bald. Just deal with it. See. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. Neither shall they do what? Neither should they shave off the corners of their beard. Neither shall they shave off our beard. Because a beard is a badge of manly dignity. That's, That's right. right. How do you know a male line from a female line in the, in, in the jungle? Because of his mane. Now, why would we cut our mane off? Right. To look like a lioness. You know what I'm saying? Right. Certain jobs require that. And I'm going to show you why certain jobs require that. I'm going to show you. Because I was bringing out laws to Brother Jonathan that we got to have, like, how the sister is dressed. How many sisters do you see dressed like that? Not too many. Not too many. But that's how the Bible says for women to dress. Right. You know what I'm saying? Modest apparel. You're not see. supposed to see a woman's shape. Right. But a lot of our women dress like that to get the attention of men. That's right. You know what I'm saying? They, t they want the attention of men just so they can say, oh, look how thirsty they is. But if you hang a stake in the, in the lions, then you think the lions ain't going to stare at the stake and try to get at it? Right. Men, we are primitive by nature. We see something we like, we go after it. That's why there's HIV and AIDS running rampant through New Orleans right now. Bring it out. Bring it out. You know what I'm saying? Single parent homes. Huh? Rampant. Rampant. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Every five seconds on the radio, they're talking about the prep pill and all of that. Would need the prep pill if we had marriages. Would we right. join? Because right. how many women you have sex with? One. And that's the one that you marry. Bring it up. But that's the problem with our people. We're a lawless generation. Am I correct, sis? We are a lawless generation. And once you start correcting everybody, they say, oh, only God could judge me. You know who said that? You know who came up with the phrase, only God can judge me? Because it's not in the Bible. Right. I know Tupac ain't said, Tupac said, I'm like, oh, Tupac said, bring it up. The book of all eyes on me. That's what it was. God said to correct one another. That's how I show you love. Right. Like, if I see the sister standing just how she is in the middle of the street and there's a car coming, are you going to sit there and be like, man, there's a car coming, that's just about to get here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Do that before, though, man. I mean, I step in the door, but, I but that's hatred, that, though. Man. You, know, you like, see the danger coming. You, you see the danger coming. And you just allow them to get hit by it. 
You know what I'm saying? Love for your neighbor, love for your brother or your sister makes you pull them out the street. That's what we're doing when it comes to sin. Bring it out. You know what sin is? I know what sin is. What is it? I guess sin is a lot of things. I mean, I don't know the, the, the meaning. real meaning. Yeah, right. It's what the Bible has the meaning. What you, what you um, sin is, um, is, um, is enmity against God or something like that. Mm, close. 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 What you call is James 4 and 4. That's the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Bring it out! Because what, what he means by that, James 4 and 4, friendship of the world is enmity with God. Let's say, Tyrone, you know you were Israelite, right? You keep God's laws. But you got cousins and family members that be like, no, come over here and celebrate Christmas. Come over here and give gifts to uh, white Santa. Right. And, uh, celebrate white Jesus' uh, birthday. If you're friending that thing, if you okay with that, that means you're an enemy of God. Right. Because right. for one, that's not Christ's birthday. Two, Christ's not a white man. Right. right. And three, the Bible says don't celebrate Christmas. Right. It says that in the Old Testament, centuries before Christ was born. Teach, Doc, teach. So how could it be his birthday and they were celebrating it back then? Right. Somebody lying. Right. You know what I'm saying? So read that. First John three. chapter 3, verse 4. Watch Whosoever this. committed sin transgressed also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the law. That's why I said you was close. Sin is when you break God's law. So right. if God's law says keep a beard and you shave it off, what is that? A sin. If God says for a woman to wear a dress and modest apparel and they're not doing that, what is that? If God says for a man not to defile his temple, and he smokes cigarettes and weed. What is that? Right. First Corinthians. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you that. But then I'm going to show you why all of these things are in place. Because does anybody, have y'all ever seen a white man, Chinese man, uh, um, East Indian man hold a gun to somebody's head and say, come to my store and buy some cigarettes and smoke them? No. That ever happened? But our people willingly go there. And when you ask them, why do you smoke cigarettes? Why do you smoke weed? Why do you over drink? Oh, I got problems, man. I'm stressing. We all stressing. We're living on hell on earth. Bring it out. <laughs> Bring it out. Who wouldn't stress in hell? You know what I'm saying? We all stressing. But there's a way that you deal with it. Right. Read that. First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Bring it out. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. So we as a people, we are God's temple. From the sister right there to the brother right here. We are God's temple. Read. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. God's spirit dwells in us. That's why we can do the things that we do in life. We can come up with the best inventions. The spirit of God got to be working you with that. We are the strongest. We are the smartest. Right. We are the best people on earth. Right. Spirit of God got to be dealing with you to be the best in the lowest state. The lowest state that we in right now. Any hood that you go to is black folks. Yes. yes. You know what I'm saying? In that lower state, we still the best at almost everything. Right. From 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 being good to being bad, we the best at damn near everything. Right. Read. If any man defile the temple of God. If any man defile the temple of God, like over drinking, like you can drink, you can justify drinking according to the Bible, but in moderation. If you smoke cigarettes, smoke weed, pop pills, um, um. Do heroin, all of that stuff, cocaine. If you do all that's defiling your temple, read. Right. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. That's where cancer comes from. Right. That's how people get their weed laced with other drugs. Right. That's how we go to jail for, for, for petty possession. You know what I'm saying? That's why all of these things happen to us because we're not supposed to do it in the first place. Right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Judith 5. Bring it I'm going to show, show you why, as a people, when we go for a job, they tell us we got to shave. Or when we going out and, uh, like, if she wants to get a job somewhere, they say, well, you have to wear pants. Like, what you mean? What if it's her preference, her religious preference to wear a dress? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they work with it, sometimes they don't. 
but it's all to keep our people in sin. Read that. Judah chapter 5 and verse 20. Now therefore, my Lord and governor. Now this right here, this person that's talking, is a so-called Chinese man, right? right? He was talking to his general who he reported to. He was given the entire history of our people because all nations know the entire history of our people. Right. They know that our history don't just start with the transatlantic slave trade, right. though that's recorded in the Bible to happen to us. They know that our history goes far past the sub-Saharan slave trade when we were sold over Africa right. by the Arabs and the Africans. And there's Arabs darker than you. You know what I'm saying? So dark-skinned people sold the Israelites across Africa, and then they sold them to Caucasian people. Right. That's how we got on this side of the world. But they knew that. Read on. If there be any error in this people. If there be any error in this people. Right? Read. And they sin against their God. And we sin, break God's laws against our God. Read. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. This is going to be our ruin. Meaning it's going to be detrimental to us if we break God's laws. That's why they sit and they examine us. They look at sisters like that. Hmm, she's not dressed like all of them other girls. Right. So she must be different. She must have a little idea of who she is. I see this brother, he got the things on his shirt. Well, he got a beard on his face. Hmm. Must be something with them brothers. Must be something with that sister. But if they know that we're just like everybody else, they know that we, we it's open season. Right. It's open season. They could do whatever they want to us. Terrible as it may be, they can do whatever because we don't have protection. Read on. And let us go up and we shall overcome them. So as long as we're in sin, we're susceptible to being overcame. Like, you ever thought about it? How did it take two, three white men to control a plantation of like two, three hundred Negroes? Bring it up. These ain't small dudes. You know what I'm saying? How you control a buck? A buck was like, right give me somebody. Right up. LeBron? Yeah, like this. If you ever saw Mandingo, yeah. look how tall this dude is to him. Yeah. How is he able to control him? You know what I'm saying? God got to intervene on that. Teach, it got to be the spirit of God to take that spirit of fighting and defense from you to be slave to these people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Read on. But if there be no iniquity in their nation. But if there's no iniquity with us, meaning we're not in sin, read. Let my Lord now pass by. You better leave them people alone, read. Lest their Lord defend them. Lest our God defend us, read. And that God before them. Uh huh. And we became a reproach before all the world. Just like the Egyptians. Right. No matter how they try to spin it, they know for a fact. Ten plagues happened in Egypt, right? You can put it down. They know for a fact ten plagues happened in Egypt, right? They know for a fact there was people in Egypt that were slaves, and they walked out of Egypt free because their God made the way. Right. They know that. No matter how much they try to disprove it, that's how you know it's, it's real. Because all of these years and centuries later, they still try to disprove it. Right. But you can't. That's how we know God is going to defend us as long as we keep his laws. That's, that's right. That's why they tell us, you got to shave. That's why they tell us, the women got to wear pants. That's why they tell us, oh, you, you, you can't wear the fringes on your shirt. You, you, you have to work on Saturdays, even though Saturday is the seventh day. We supposed right. to rest. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, come to the Christmas party. Come, come to July 4th celebration. Why we celebrate 4th of July? Bring it out. Where was we at July 4th, 1776? We've been there. We was in slavery. We slavery. So whose independence do black people get up and, and, and uh, celebrate when they put on the red, white, and blue outfits? Mm. Mm. Amen. Exactly. They're celebrating the freedom of Amen. Caucasians from Caucasians. You know what I'm saying? Nothing to do with us. You got any questions, sis? I just celebrate the 4th of July because it's my son's birthday. Can I ask you a question? You believe in the Bible? I can see it. Now, well... We used to do the same thing. So I'm not going to act like we never did it before or nothing like that. But can you find where in the Bible it says to celebrate our birthdays? Bring it out. It doesn't. 
That's not a that's not a custom that we used to do. Right. All throughout the Bible, the people that celebrated their birthday, there was death behind that. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? You ever heard of John the Baptist? Okay, John the Baptist, right? What happened to John the Baptist? Um, John the Look Baptist. Was, uh, His head was cut off. There. That's right. Do you remember what day that was? I don't remember that. I don't remember the day, but I do know his head was cut off. It was on his daughter's birthday. Bring it out. His stepdaughter's, right? His stepdaughter's birthday. I got it. And she asked for the head of John the Baptist on a platter. Mm -hmm. What they call a charge. And I'm going to show you something else that happened on their birthday, because we never celebrated. It was never our custom Bring it to out. celebrate them. You know what I'm saying? Though it was taught among us, oh, it's another year that you alive. It's that, that, that. But who made sure that you was alive that year? God did. That's right. So if you're going to celebrate, celebrate every day. Yeah. Celebrate every day that you wake up, not right. just your birthday. Because you can't justify. What, what we're trying to do is we're trying to justify our actions according to the Bible. Right. You can't justify celebrating your birthday. You can't justify smoking weed. Right. You know what I'm saying? Same thing. You can't justify these things, but that's what we have to do. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.